welcome to my first Fallout video tutorial. In this uh, clip we're going to make uh, custom weapons and I'll start out with the most basic things you'll need to do. Some of you might already have this done, some of you might not know what this is at all. But I'm going to go slow and explain everything I possibly can. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the GEC. Make sure you have it installed, blah blah blah, you know. Okay. Once it's open, you should get this. You, your render window, object window, and cell view may not be in the same spots as mine, but you can just sim simply drag those around and set those up yourself. Um, okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is as soon as you open it up, you're going to press save. This saves your whatever you have, you know, a plugin file so that you're not editing the Fallout main files because if you do those then you you can screw up the game and whatnot. So what you're going to do is name this anything you want. I'm just going to name this tutorial for instructional purposes. So you're going to save that and now you see you're in tutorial.esp. So I'm going to open, press open, and you're going to hit this window. Now, I'd like to do this anyway, but I'm, you set this one as active file. You'll see it, active file, right here, the mod that you're using. Then you're going to go double click this, make sure that's your parent file. It should or You shouldn't need to do it, but I do it anyway, just to you know, be sure. Then you press OK, you'll let it load at the bottom shouldn't take too long and if it does stick just give it a couple minutes it, it might take long depending on your computer speed I'm just waiting alright so now we're loaded and everything's good. So you're gonna get stuff that looks like this. You're gonna start off in the world space called interiors, which is all the insides of every place in the game. So I'm going to load up or not load. I'm going to go to I'm gonna type in a megaton and you'll get a bunch of megaton cells. If you decided to blow up megaton, you'll probably be in ten penny. But that's for you evil people. I'm not helping evil people. So for all you good people, go to Megaton Player House. That's the editor ID. The name will be Empty House. Just double click this and it'll start loading it. If you get any errors, just press yes to all and let it load okay so we'll get this background will change it's all good so what you're going to do is I'm going to go into the free cam and zoom out but all you need to do is make sure you have the window selected and scroll out and here it is simply pan hold spacebar or middle mouse and zoom in again Alright, I'm going to go into the free cam again, and yeah, this is very cluttered because of all the different um, themes you can get, but for now, you can just ignore it, well, that's beautiful. Um, I'm going to go to this corner, and this is where I'm going to add my custom weapon. So what you're going to do is up here in the object window, is you're going to in the filter box you're going to type W E A P WEP and you're not going to get anything at first unless you have all selected so you're going to just click the star all and what you're going to want to do is click on editor ID up here click it and it'll organize everything in alphabetical order now all the weapons will start with WEP and they'll have this icon right here it's a shield with a hammer and two swords 
um, if you continue to go down you should see that things will be less related you won't really need to work with those at all but if you don't see them up at top like if you sort them and they're not on top then you can simply just go to the bottom and they might be down there so right here these are all my weapons or all the weapons in the game so I'm going to modify a, a Hmm. What's a gun I should modify? Okay, I'm going to modify. Where's the 10 millimeter? 10 millimeter pistol, silenced. Take the silenced version. I'm gonna drag it into the game. Remove it. Simply click and drag. And I'm going to double click it. And you'll open up this window. See? Double click. And you get this window. The reference window. Now what you want to do is press edit the base. This is going to be editing the gun. So the first thing you'll see up top is ID. Web 10 millimeter pistol silenced. For this you're going to want to change this editor ID so you don't overwrite all the guns in the game. All the 10 millimeter silenced. So I'm going to change this to web 10 millimeter pistol silent, silenced skittle. Just put something at the end of it so I know that's my variation. Next thing is name. You have silent 10 millimeter pistol. I'm going to change this to tactical 10 millimeter pistol. Okay, so this is my gun. This is the name that'll appear in game. You won't see this ID in game, but this is what you'll see in game is the name. Um, you'll see script and object effect. Those here you don't really need to work with at all. Um, you can change this for say um, uh, say you have a baseball bat you can put on MSO3 Mole Rat Repellent Enchantment what this will do is turn basically the baseball bat into Moira's repellent stick I'm not going to work with that at all I don't use it, I'm not familiar with it so you know next thing is ammunition this is the kind of ammunition your pistol will take in the game. Mine's a 10 millimeter tactical, so I'm going to leave that at 10, 10 millimeters. Next thing is clip rounds. How big your clip is, how many bullets you have before you reload. I'm going to change this to 7. A little bit more realistic, I guess. And skill is what. Um, skill will reflect your damage and accuracy, crit chance, etc. with this gun. I'm going to leave it at small guns because that's what the pistol would be. It's a small gun. Um, the next thing you're going to have is this tab called game data. First thing you want to see is weight. I'm going to change this to 1. So that's how much it will weigh in your inventory. Next thing is health. I'm going to increase the health to uh, 120 just to make it a little bit more strong see if you have really low health the more damage uh, projectiles and um, the fire rate you have the faster it'll decrease so I'm gonna keep that up there because I'm probably gonna increase the damage um, next thing is reach that there I'm not 100% sure because I don't I don't use it. I always leave it at default. So next thing is fire rate. That's how fast it'll shoot. Normally that's at one unless your gun is automatic. Mine's not, so I'm just gonna leave that at that. And right now I am at nine minutes, so I'm going to cut this off and continue in a new segment. So, go watch part two.